Hey guys, we are at um, Dingo Caravan Park at Dingo, which is a great location to come and base, park your van to go and check out the Black Down Tablelands, which we're about to go and do today. We've heard of some fantastic water holes up there we want to go and check out for you, um, and for us as well. Um, so we're going to bring you with us. Let's go and have a look. Cheers. So we just got to the first lookout, I think it's Horseshoe Lookout. Um, a few people here, but we'll go and have a check it out. Kids are all still sore from their workout the other day and struggling. All right, here we go. Oh Guys, so we've just been driving through the campground up here and um, just wanted to trust it out whether we could get the caravan up here and probably say definitely not um, camper trails yeah but yeah some of the turns and that within the campground are quite tight um, and a lot of overhanging trees so the van leaning the wrong way you're gonna hit your roof quite but anyway steep too and yeah very rough the, the gravel road. road on the way in um, very rough very rutted would have been a very long slow trip but anyway, if you've got a tent, a uh, rooftop tent or a camper trailer, happy days, it'd be quite nice up in here. So 16 sites up in here all together. Um, looks like there's a couple of amenities blocks. Two toilet blocks, yeah. Um, and looks like there's plenty of people up here with their swags and gear. Um, so, but you know, plenty of lovely walking tracks and things to explore. So anyway, I think the kids are pretty keen to go and try and find this elusive water hole that's not marked. So, um, we're gonna go and try and find that, guys. Yes. Not me. Not you. My legs are broken. Your legs are broken. Oh my god! Look at those little tents. So anyway, guys, we'll get going. We'll talk to you soon. All right, so we've just parked up the car park. Like a load of cars in there, actually. It's quite interesting. And making our way down the path. So I believe down here somewhere, rather than keep going down the steps, we keep going straight ahead to find the water holes. Um, so it looks like a nice little bushfire has been through here. Everyone's struggling to walk down because of other exercises as they did the other day. But all fun and games. Anyway, let's keep trudging down and see how we go. All right guys, hot tip. When you get to this sign, there's a pathway unmarked going that way. Stay on that path and that'll lead you to the water holes. Um, so again, the sign says here, and that takes you down the 240 steps to the waterfall where we're about to go. But yeah, keep walking down the main track so you get to this sign and then go that way to the water holes. All right, 240 steps, here we come. Righto, so that was the Rainbow Falls. Check that out. Yeah, it's called Rainbow because there's Rainbow in the Falls. There is, it looks like a Rainbow in the Falls. So now we're heading back up the 240 steps. So um, the rest of the family are really wishing they hadn't done their leg workout a couple of days ago. Alrighty guys, see you when we get to the top.
so that was those lovely little water holes. I found those, which was stoked to find. Um, it got packed out there, so I uh, put the drone away and everything and just enjoyed a bit of a swim and a jump in. Hey guys, so we're heading out, finished the walk, and we're on this lovely corrugated road. But um, hey, we had an absolute blast, didn't we, kids? Yes. Yeah. So um, check it out. Those water holes, take that tip on how to find those holes. Um, it's well worthwhile going and checking out, and the waterfall is definitely the worth the 240 steps down and up. But anyway, guys, we're heading back to the um, caravan park. Time for showers, a bit of a feed, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Bye. Cheers, guys. And uh, if you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you again soon.